Joining me right now is the CEO of Calamos. He is John Cadunas, president and CEO. Great to see you, John. Welcome back. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Great to see you, Maria. So what do you think about all of this spending and this tax increase plans that we are uh, waiting on? The capital gains tax for the highest earners is expected to go all the way up to 43.4 percent from the current 20 percent, John. What kind of an impact would you expect? Listen, Maria, I agree fully with Jamie Dimon. This whole fiscal policy uncertainty, which includes potential for tax increases, and more regulation is fueling this volatility and absolutely negative for long-term strategic growth. We've seen how the opposite helps and stimulates this economy with the previous administration. Why do people think if you turn everything around and over-regulate, over-tax, and create more, you know, it, it's, it's going to hurt the economy tremendously. And that's what's something that is creating some of this volatility going forward here. You know, it's, it's incredible to me that not a dollar has been spent of these last two plans, and we've got an economy that is expected to be up 9 percent in 2021. The Atlanta Federal Reserve expecting growth in the second quarter of 13 percent. So why are we throwing all this money at an economy that is doing just fine on its own? That's the question that, you know, we have to ask, and we're going to have to pay for it later on. Of course, the vaccine rollouts the positive econ economic data, the fiscal stimulus, the accommodative monetary policy, that is helping. But what happens with this uncertainty going forward? One thing that we tell our investors is that you have to be in the market, despite the volatility, despite what might be coming in the future, because if you're not, you're going to miss it, and it's hard to time it. Even professionals are very hard to time. Maria, there's an inter interesting statistic that I want to share. In 2020, if you were invested in just in the S&P uh, index every single day of the year, you would have had a return of 18 percent. Now, if you were not invested and try to time the market just five of the best days of the S&P, so if you were invested for 360 but not those five days, you would have had the best five days a return of negative 18 percent. So it's a huge difference mm. to show wow. that it's very tough to time the markets. You need to be in them. You, it's hard to pick. And usually the rebounds are right after a really bad day. So uh, we tell our customers, yeah. be, in, be in products that can navigate this future uncertainty that we have. Products like our market neutral, hedged equity, so you can still get some of the upside, but protect yourself on the downside. And a lot of our convertibles have done very, very well during this time. Well, look, we're all looking for yield and some kind of a return, given the fact that the Federal Reserve is keeping interest rates at rock bottom levels, probably going to do so until 2024. We're not making any money in our savings account. The only place to make money, really, uh, is uh, in equities, companies that pay dividends. But what about the backdrop? How important is this for your clients and, and, and what they're looking at in terms of economic growth and its impact? We've got the April jobs report coming out in about an hour. Or less than an hour, economists are expecting nearly a million jobs added to the economy in the last month, the unemployment rate moving lower to 5.8 percent. John, what are you seeing from your standpoint in terms of the labor market and the economy? Top story in the journal today that businesses cannot find workers to get back on the job. It's tough. It's tough. A, a lot of people, A, they want to work from home. A lot of people, uh, the, the jobs, the job they will see today, the number is going to be very strong. Uh, the employment is coming back, and we're going to see a huge reopening trade, which is going to make it even more, even worse. Therefore, we, we clearly need, like you said, Maria, you're not getting any returns in, in fixed income. You need to be involved in the equity markets, but be smart about it. And that's why some of these strategies are really important to protect yourself going forward. It, you, it, you have to get returns in the equity market. You can't get them in the fixed income market right now with interest rates really low, although we are starting to see some inflation, right? We're starting to see it in the grocery stores. We're starting to see it in the, in the gas pumps as, as you go there. And you're starting to see it in home building. Lumber has gone through the roof. But we also feel if some of these taxes and fiscal policies get uh, uh, inserted, we will see the yeah. economy go down 
tremendously, and we'll see a flight to quality. And I think that will uh, bring interest rates back down again. So I'm not really worried of runaway interest rates. Do you, do you feel like uh, the reopening is in place? I know Calamos is expanding its presence in Chicago. You've got a new office in the city's uh, Fulton Market area. Is it bustling right now? Are people back? Tell us about the growth, why you chose that area, and what you're seeing on the ground. Sure. I appreciate it. We're growing in Chicago. We're growing in New York. We're growing in Miami. Our business, uh, even pre-COVID, has been growing really well. We've doubled our AUM in the last four years. We're at over $37.5 billion, and COVID has not stopped us. We've been very, very fortunate for that. We picked Fullerton Market in Chicago as an extension to our headquarters in Naperville because it's a bustling neighborhood. You can't get a reservation at any of the restaurants down there. We want to be able to accommodate some of the younger people in recruiting in terms of coming out of business school. If you want to live in a city that's vibrant area, that's, uh, that's, that's happening, that's hot, we have that opportunity now. If you want to live out in the suburbs to raise a family, they have that opportunity now, too. And so we could accommodate that. And to think that we might have a different way as we go on and be a little bit more flexible, but people need to be in the offices. That's where you'll see the business get done. It's hard to train younger people. It's hard to really get a great pulse of your clients, what they're looking for, what they're expecting what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong. You need the human contact and able to do that. And the people that are, are doing that and our, and our peers, that's why you're starting to see a lot of them come into the office here earlier than expected in June, in July. And I think through September, we're, we're going to see pretty much everybody coming into the offices. All right. We'll leave it there. We'll be watching, John. Great to catch up with you. Come back soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it, Maria.